What's up guys, this is Darker and Jules, and today I've got my favorite deck to deck profile for you guys. And you guys knew it was coming, you guys knew it was coming, and I will tell you, there is a lot of changes to this deck to deal with the new meta. <laughs> there's been a lot of testing, and there's been a lot of changes for my Black Wings. This is by far my favorite deck that I have ever played, and you all know it. That's why Armor Master is my cover photo on my YouTube page. But anyways guys, let's get into it. First off, as always, and forever, I will play three Chris the Krakadon. He is immune to getting killed by a spell or trap card once per turn, and he can special summon himself if you control another Blackwing monster on your side of the field. Then I play only two copies of Shura now. I've hit that boat, I've jumped on the boat, where you only play two copies of Shura. I know it's weird, but you'll see why. Um, I hate that I'm doing it, but there's reasons why. So I thought I was playing too many monsters. So I cut, I, he, she was the only one that I could understand cutting. Um, then I play three copies of Bore of the Spear because it lets me special summon itself out and he inflicts piercing damage. Uh, then I play one copy of Blackwing Zaphros the Elite. Uh, essentially you could um, Bounce back a Bora or a Chris or a Whirlwind or an unused Fiendish Chain or anything back to your hand. Uh, special summon in from Graveyard, pay 400 life points, and then have a rank 4 play. So, one Zaphros the Elite. Uh, then I play three copies of Kalut the Moon Shadow because you can discard him to make a Blackwing monster you control gain 1400 attack. Um, then I play two copies of Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Special summon it out, half something's attack. Uh, I think three is too cloggy in the deck with all the tuners, the other tuners. I'm playing seven tuners already. So, you know, eight would be just too much. I know that's a little weird, but I have tried three and three is bad. Um, then I play two copies of Blizzard the Far North. Uh, this card is amazing late game. You special, you normal summon this out. This card cannot be special summon. Normal summon this out. It's an instant um, level six synchro. So, uh, then I play two copies of Pinaka, the, uh, waxing moon. Um, it's pretty much a skarm and it can only be used to synchro summon a Blackwing monster. So that's why I'm playing only two copies of it. Um, I have tried three, three is bad. I've tried one you just don't see it enough. Um, then I'm playing one copy of Gladys, the midnight sun. Uh, when you control only one Blackwing monster, you can special summon this out. And before I move on to spells and traps, after I show you this next card, I am going to show a combo off because it's my favorite combo of the deck now. Um, and then I play one Orsha the Squall. So here is the combo. Okay, let's say you control Black Whirlwind. When you control Black Whirlwind, you can normal summon an additional, or you can normal summon, not normal summon, you add a monster from your deck to your hand that has less attack points. So what you'll do is let's say you open up and you have a Pinaka and a Gladys Midnight Sun, okay? And you have a Black Whirlwind. I'm just gonna say you got Black Whirlwind. You normal summon this, you add to your hand Squall, you special summon this, you Synchro, you go for Nuthung, the Shining Star, then you special summon out Orsha, the Squall, okay? Then you Synchro again for Blackwing, uh, tamer Hawk Joe. Then you activate Hawk Joe's effect and you re add or you re special summon your Nuthung. And then you normal summon again, say a Shura or a Bora or a uh, Chris Cracka with, I know Chris Cracka, it's the thing that we say at top games, um, Chris the Cracka Dawn to get out an additional. Um, search off of your woolwin because he lets you normal summon an additional time and that's the big combo of the deck and if any of you guys need it i will type it up in the comments if you ask for it but anyways guys let's keep going into the spells and traps so moving on to spells and traps i'm playing one copy of Ragaki because this is an otk deck at times uh one copy of book of moon and this is a new card i know it's going to be you know foreseen but I'm playing two copies of Instant Fusion because I am playing one copy of Noden in the extra deck, or Norden, or how the hell you say it in English. Um, it helps with rank fours a lot. That's all I've got to say about it. Uh, with Pendulums coming up 
and going to be very dominant. I did put back two MSTs back in. Um, and again, you do need them now. Uh, another card that I added in was two copies of Mass Change 2. Believe me, my extra deck is really, 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 really tight now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, two copies of Mass Change 2. Uh, with Mass Change 2, you can special summon out Dark Law, which sends pendulums to... They remove pendulums from play. <laughs> uh, if your opponent searches, then you get to discard a card randomly from their hand. And it's just awesome. I would not take it out for anything. Three is too cloggy, by the way. And then another card that I just put in the deck is two copies of Forbidden Lands. With Kalut in the deck, you already have an attack bonus. With this, you have an attack decrease to your opponent's monsters. Plus, it prevents cards like Blackwing Armor Master, Raikiri, and stuff like that from getting killed So by spelling traps. So it really, really helps to be, to have this. Then I play three of the Searcher cards, something you will always play in the deck, and that is three copies of Black Whirlwind. With Black Whirlwind, you can normal summon, when you normal summon a Blackwing monster, you get to add a Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand that has less attack points than the one you just normal summoned. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, then I play one copy of Compulsory Evacuation Device, one copy of Bottomless Trap Hole, one copy of Ring of Destruction, a new card that I wasn't playing before, one copy of a very, very shiny and hard to find that I, I scoured my room for, Torrential Tribute, because, because Chris Cracka, or Chris the Cracka Dawn, is immune to being killed by Spell or Traps once per turn. So imagine, you normal summon Chris Cracka, you set this phase down, guess what? Your opponent's not going to expect you to, uh, you know, flip a Torrential on him. <laughs> Then I play one Solemn Morning, one Vanities, and double, I almost said triple, double Fiendish Chain. I would play triple, it wouldn't be that bad. But that's what I'm playing for the main deck. I believe it is 41 cards at this point. Maybe 40, I may be wrong. But uh, it is awesome. It works so well. Oh my god. Focus camera, focus. Focus for me. Okay, so... That's it for the main deck, let's get into the extra deck. Something that I will probably play for the longest time and I don't want to give up on is a Beals. Uh, Beals just helps. I have won games because of Beals, but Beals can backfire at points because of Castile and 101. Typically, I, if I'm going for defensive play, I'll play them in defense mode, but I'm afraid of Castiles. Um, if I'm not afraid of Castiles, with Cyber Dragon Infinity coming, I'm probably going to drop it. And I don't want to, but I'm probably going to drop him for a Trishula. But for now, I'm still playing one. Um, then I play one Blackwing Tamer Hawk Joe. Favorite card in the extra deck, by far. Um, if you have a Blackwing monster that's level 5 or higher, you can special summon it. If a he is targeted by a card effect or by an attack, you can target another Blackwing monster on the field and change that target to hit that card instead of him. So... Really awesome card. Favorite card in the extra deck. If I had to say, he's probably my signature card at this point with Dark Arm Dragon. Um, then I play one copy of Assault Blackwing, Rakiri the Sudden Shower in Japanese, or Rakiri the Rain Shower over here. I like Rain Shower better, honestly, for the names. Um, his effect is, is awesome. It is awesome. Um, you can destroy once a turn cards on your opponent's side of the field equal to the number of black wings you control besides him. And with this being a swarm deck, do you know how easy that is? Let's just say really, really easy. Um, and with the way that they've infused Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 into Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, I foresee a lot more black wing stuff in my future. And you know what? To all those black wing haters, you know what? We won in 2009 Worlds, and we can do it again. And I know I'm going to get hate for that, but we could do it again if we get the right support. This deck has all the potential to do anything it needs to do. So then I play one Blackwing Armor Master. Blackwing Armor Master is an amazing deck, or an amazing card in the deck, because it can't be destroyed by battle. And that's one of the reasons that I'm thinking about dropping, sadly, Beals, 
is because this does exactly what Beals does, except it can't be destroyed by card effects with Beals can't be destroyed by card effects and this can. Um, but typically, again, I'll make him put him in defense mode. If he dies, I'll bring him back with um, Hawk Joe. But uh, that's it for the black wing synchros right there. Uh, then I play one clear wing synchro dragon because it helps a lot. It scares your opponent off from synchro summoning because it can negate their effects. Um, it's a big beater. Um, I, I rarely make it over like a Rakiri or an armor master, but it's there in case I need it. Um, then I play one Goyo Guardian. I, I could actually play Black Rose over this, but I just don't. Uh, then I play one Goyo Guardian, which is something I played for the longest time in this deck. I would not, I would not not play this. Um, it is a 2800 beater that's easy to summon out with Blizzard. That's why I play it. Um, then I play one copy of Nothung. I was playing two copies of Nothung, but one is all I can muster into the extra deck right now. Um, with the one... You can search it with, or you can get it back with Hawk Joe. I don't know how I did that, but Hawk Joe. Um, with you deal 800 points of damage, you target a monster on your opponent's side of the field, reduces its hack points by 800 points, and then you get an additional normal summon. So awesome card. Uh, one Volk in the Divine, pick a card on your side of the field, pick a card on your opponent's side of the field, bounce them both back. Can't activate that card for the rest of the turn. 2000 attack. Awesome card. Uh, Fire Fists, love this card. And then a surprise tech, Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth, over Armides now. Um, the reason I'm doing this is if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, uh, or if this card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one card in either player's graveyard except Samsara and special summon it to your side of the field. So it's essentially a monster reborn, and I was amazed that they left the Ankh in the middle of its chest when they brought it over from Japan. Um... I sometimes bring back Beals just in case he gets somehow negated his effect, gets brought back. Hawk Joe, you know, I brought bring back Hawk Joe, Rakiri, um, Armor Master, any of these high up synchros I can bring back with him. And if I'm making a five, I'm usually playing defensively, and he has 28600 defense. So awesome card. Uh, then for my rank fours, I play one Silent Knight Honor Arc because stealing shit is still a thing with. Noden, it's really a thing. Castile, really still a thing. Bouncing shit. And only one more, and that's Ice Beast Zero Fine. Um, Ice Beast Zero Fine is really, really good in this deck because it's a skill drain for the board, and it's a humongous beater. I do not need Rebellion with this. Um, this card negates everything on the field for until my opponent's next end phase, or my next end phase, or standby phase, I think. Except uh, once per turn, you can detach one XYZ from this card, uh, and then negate effects all face of cards currently on the field. If you do, this card gains three an attack currently on the field. Uh, these card effects will apply until your next standby phase. Next standby phase. Okay, excuse me for reading that. But uh, next standby phase. So this essentially becomes huge because for every card negated that's face up, uh, it gains 300 attack besides itself. So, And then I play two copies of Dark Law because searching is a way out thing and shit getting banished helps a lot. And then I play one copy of uh, Norden uh, because Norden plus Insufusion is awesome. Typically, you won't use two of him for my testing, so I only play one of him. So yeah, that's it for the uh, that's it for my Black Wings. Um, that's it for the updated version of my Black Wings with the new Rikiri. But don't forget to check out the like page below for Dark Armed Alliance also. Uh, don't forget to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! like page and my own Dark Armed like page uh, on Facebook. Uh, Dark Armed Alliance is something kind of new that's been around for a little bit, but uh, don't forget to check it out. It's my own Yu-Gi-Oh! group that I'm the head admin of. But anyways, guys, this is Dark Armed Duelist, and I'm out.